Today I'm going to take you on a tour of four new construction homes in Lexington, North Carolina. Lexington is located about 55 minutes north of Charlotte, 25 minutes south of Winston-Salem, and about 35 minutes southwest of Greensboro. People really like the Lexington location because it's sort of like in the middle of Charlotte, Winston-Salem, and Greensboro. If you want to look at the map, you can check out what I mean. So with these four new construction homes, you get a lot of bang for your buck. The price ranges from three to 350, and it's really best to reach out to me when you're ready to purchase, whether it's nine days or in 90 days, because that price point is going to fluctuate. It could go up, it could go down, but right now the range is between three to 350. All four of these four pl floor plans have two really cool features. So let's get started on that tour. Okay, so the first house that we're gonna go see is the Hayden Plan. It's a five bedroom, three full bath house for under 350 in Lexington. So let's pull in. There are two really cool features of this house I can't wait to show you. So please make sure you stay tuned for the entire tour. So walking into the Hayden, this is the foyer of the Hayden. Hayden. Over here to the left is the office slash den. And you got these nice French doors, these glass French doors that are added. And continuing on to the Hayden, the stairs are kind of tucked over to the right, which makes it nice so it's not like smacking you right in the face. And go over here. And we walk into the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have um, granite countertops, an undermount sink, and it's kind of a, a large sink. It's one single basin sink. It's not a double, but it is rather large. And coming along here, we have the pantry. check out those cabinets too. Oh, soft clothes. Very nice. You got your dining area here, so enough seating for five people, very comfortably. And then looking out here is your patio. And the grass is not dying. Um, the grass is actually getting ready to go dormant. It's Bermuda grass, and I guess that's what happens to Bermuda grass. And then here you have your family room, and you have this uh, sectional here with the Chase Lounge, so there's plenty of space for that. And one thing that I love about the Hayden plan is that you do have a bedroom on the first floor. So let's go check that out. So you have nice tall ceilings in here, window, closet, good size closet there. And a full bathroom, single vanity sink, quartz countertop, under mount sink, and a walk-in shower. And out to that door is the garage and they're using it as their office right now. So we're not gonna go in there. So let's go head upstairs. There's like two really cool things upstairs in this Hayden plan that I wanna show you. So let's go check out the first really cool thing. Coming up the top of the stairs, we have a loft area that's in like the middle of the house, which is pretty cool. So that way you can have um, another family room and have that space from guests or kids or whatever. You could also make it into a homework station or an at-home office. So that's cool feature number one. And I'm gonna show you cool feature number two in just a minute, but let's go check out these bedrooms first. So next to the loft here, you have another bedroom and they have it staged like a nursery. And let's check out the closet over here. So it's not a walk-in closet, but it's a pretty good size closet. And walking down the hall over here, 
We have the next bedroom. The window and a closet. And then you got a full bath over here. So you have a double vanity sink. And then back here you have the toilet and a tub shower. All right, coming back around. We have our next guest room over here. This is in the front of the house. So there's a double window. closet here. All right, let me go show you the last cool feature of this house. Here we go. And one thing that's really nice about the Hayden plan too is that the washer and dryer, the laundry room, is on the second floor. So it's a full-size washer and dryer and what makes it nice is because all of your clothes are then transferred to the bedroom and all the bedrooms except for the one downstairs are all up on the second floor. The primary bedroom is the last cool feature of this house. There's plenty of space in here, it has an ensuite. That is a king size bed. Two windows that face out towards the front. And then you have this primary bed or this primary bathroom ensuite, and it's huge in here, which is so nice. You have your double vanity sink right here. And then you have your closet, your walk-in closet, and have plenty of sunlight, or pl plenty of light coming in because you have this nice window here. So that's one closet. You have a walk-in shower here on your ensuite and a water closet. And the last you have is another walk-in closet. And this one's a lot larger than that first walk-in closet. But it's really nice because you have that separation, right? You don't have to have all your clothes in one closet. You can share, have the smaller closet over here and the larger closet on the other side. Now you're probably wondering what the price is of the Hayden plan. And all I can say right now is that it is below 350, so somewhere between three and 350. To find out what the exact amount is and what they're selling these homes for at the moment, the best thing to do is to reach out to me Give me a call, send me a text, or shoot me an email, and let's set up a time to chat about what you're looking for in your home and what kind of price point you want to stay at. All my information is pinned in the first comment below, and it's also at the bottom of the screen. Let's go on to our next plan, which is the Roby. The next house I'm going to show you is the Roby floor plan, and this house has two really cool features. So let's see if we can go find them. And the Roby floor plan is also a five bedroom, three bath home. So this one's similar to the Hayden. When you first walk in, you have a nice large foyer or wide foyer here with your steps going upstairs. So that part's not similar because the stairs are right near the front door but the entrance feels similar to me. So as we walk back into the rest of the home, we have open concept living in the Roby, and we have your living area here by the slider, as well as your dining area here. Let's see if I can turn on that light. Okay, can't find the light. Coming over here into the kitchen, you have a nice granite countertop with a breakfast bar. Kitchen cabinets, and these cabinets are shaker style and they are soft clothes. I love those soft clothes cabinets. My husband sometimes forgets that he's in a hurry or whatever and slams the cabinet and now that we have soft closed cabinets, that doesn't happen. And this pantry, I absolutely love this pantry. I have one very similar in my house and looks can be deceiving because it looks like it's not that big, but I'm here to tell you that it is 
an awesome size pantry. It holds so much storage, your canned goods, um, cereals, all your dry good kind of stuff. And it's just, there's so much space here and so much storage, but that's not the cool feature number one that I wanted to tell you. We're still looking for it. Haven't found it yet. Coming back here, you do have a bedroom on the first floor, which I knew, know is really huge for a lot of my viewers. They really want to have that bedroom on the first floor. It's not the primary bedroom, but it is a bedroom. So what's nice about that is if you have guests who are coming to stay, like an in-law or something like that, then at least you have this a bedroom on the first floor to accommodate them. And it does have a full bathroom that's right across the hall. So you have a single vanity sink and then your walk-in closet here. And I think this is a linen closet right here. So let's see. Yes, nice linen closet. That's next to the bathroom. All right, let's have a look outside and see what the backyard looks like. So in this particular community, they're using all Bermuda grass and it does look yellow there. And that's because like I mentioned before, it's going dormant um, because we're moving into the fall month, um, but it's a good sized backyard. All right, let's go upstairs and see what those two cool features are. All right, cool feature number one is the storage closet. So when you come up the stairs, you have a like a miniature loft area. So this is where it's a little bit smaller than the Hayden, um, but it's still that five bedroom. So with this storage closet here, this is pretty awesome to have this rather than having it up in your attic. So you can put some shelving in here and have it all lined up the way that you need it or whatever. There's also a light in here. So rather than having to go up into your attic, you have storage right up here at the top of your stairs. So that's cool feature number one. Cool feature number two is coming up, but I'm gonna swing around here so you can see these other bedrooms first. So walking down the hallway here are going to be the other guest bedrooms and then your laundry room. So again, you have your laundry on the second floor, which makes so much sense because everyone has their clothes upstairs, right? So that way it's just a, a closer walk to those bedrooms to be able to fold the clothes and put them away. So over here, opposite of those bedrooms is the primary bedroom. So that's still not the cool feature number two that I'm talking about, but you can see that there's this separation. So you got your bedrooms here, down the hall here, and then your laundry room here. So let's go to the primary bedroom and that's where cool feature number two is for the Roby plan. So in the primary bedroom, when you first walk in, this space is massive. I don't know how many feet it is, but it will definitely fit a king size bed a couple of dressers and you'd still have room to walk around. In the primary bedroom, you do have an ensuite, your primary bathroom, but this is not where the cool feature number two is. I'm gonna show, show that to you in just a minute. You do have a water closet here, which I absolutely love. So that way, um, not to be gross or anything, but you have that privacy. Um, double vanity sinks with an undermount and then your walk-in shower. So the cool feature number two of the Roby is this walk-in closet. And this thing is massive. So you have shelving here. It goes all the way over here. And what you have also is nice bright light, which I absolutely love that. Um, sometimes it's really hard for me to see like the color difference between navy blue and black, for example. And if I had a bright window to let in that natural light in my closet, I would be just ecstatic about that. So that's what cool feature number two is here in the Roby floor plan. Now I know that you're probably wondering about price of the Roby floor plan. And again, it's gonna be between three and 350 as of right now, 2024, fall of 2024. But the best thing to do is to reach out to me, either call, text, or email. We can set up a time to chat and I can ask you what your lifestyle is like, what you are looking for in a home, if a five bedroom home is something that's on your list or not, and be able to help you make some decisions if Lexington is going to be a good fit for you, if this type of floor plan is going to be a good fit for you, and how much you want to spend on a house. And because it's new construction, the prices fluctuate all the time. 
So I don't really want to quote what the, what the price is right now because it will be different by the time that you watch this video. So feel free to give me a call, send me a text or shoot me an email and let's set up a time to chat. Walking into the Taylor plan, you have this nice foyer and then it opens up into your open concept living. So the stairs go up to the bedrooms and you have your dining area, dining area here in the middle, your kitchen over there, and then your family room, living room combo right across from the kitchen. Cool feature number one of this house is this backyard. This backyard is massive. It goes all the way back to where that brownish dirt is. You can see that there. So this one has a, a really good size, long, long backyard. Swinging around to the rest of the house, we have granite countertops and an undermount sink. And of course, a dishwasher, slide-in oven range, and you might notice that there's no refrigerator here. And that's because homes in North Carolina don't normally come with refrigerators. They are considered personal items. So if you want to have a refrigerator added, you would have to ask for it. Um, being that this is a new construction build, it is possible to have a refrigerator possibly worked into the deal. Sometimes it's actually more expensive to have the builder add the, the refrigerator. It's sometimes just cheaper to go to like Lowe's, Home Depot, Sam's Club, uh, Best Buy to get that refrigerator. So it's just something that we would need to do our homework on and just see, you know, kind of compare prices, compare styles and that sort of thing. Also with the Taylor home, there is a pantry. It doesn't wrap around like the others that we saw in the five bedroom, but it still gives you pretty good ample storage. Um, this flooring that they use is a vinyl sheet and it does have a bit of a grain to it. I'm gonna come in right here and you can see it's kind of grainy. So that way it has that natural feel to it. And cool feature number two of the Taylor plan is that you still have that separation between the primary bedroom and the other two bedrooms. So let's go in and look at the primary bedroom. Even though it's smaller square footage, you still have a really good size primary bedroom. You could easily fit a king size bed in here. And one thing I like about it is it's towards the back of the house and not in the front of the house of this Taylor plan. Coming around here is the primary ensuite. So you have your walk-in shower, vinyl sheet, flooring, double vanity sink, and you have a walk-in closet here in the front of the house with natural light coming in. And also behind this doorway here, you have a, another water closet. I just, I love those water closets. I think they're so cool. Okay, so walking into the foyer, here you have a half bath. So this is the cool feature number two. So your half bathroom is kind of tucked in front of the house or in the front part of the house. And then you have all of your living in the back part of the house. And personally, I really like that. I like to have the powder room or your half bath separated from your kitchen dining area. To me, it just makes a lot of sense to have that separation. So that's cool feature number two in the Taylor plan. Now I'm sure as you can imagine that this home being a four bedroom, two and a half bath and not as large of a square footage as the Hayden and the Roby that we just saw. So the price point for this home is going to be lower than the Roby and the Hayden. But again, it's just best to reach out to me. All my information is pinned in the first comment below. Um, if this is a house that you could be interested in because as I mentioned before the prices change and they fluctuate So I don't want to quote anything But I can say that the range right now is between 300 and 350 for this four bedroom two and a half bath Taylor plan The next house I'm going to take you into is the Cali plan which is a four bedroom, two bath home, and it has two cool features too. So let's go in and have a look. Walking into the Cali plan, you have a very nice long foyer with all of your living that's going to ha be happening in the back of the house. Over on the right hand side, you have two identical bedrooms, guest bedroom number one and guest bedroom number two. And in between the two, you have a full bathroom, a tub shower combination and a, um, single vanity sink that's quartz countertop with undermount sink. And let's move on to the next part. 
because I wanted to show you two cool features, as I mentioned in this house, so we need to find what those cool features are. In the hallway here, you do have a linen closet to provide some extra storage. And swinging around here, this is going to be guest bedroom number three. So guest bedroom number three, you could use for an office or obviously a guest bedroom, or even like a small like workout room. Um, I had thought about the Cali plan for myself just because it is a uh, one level living and being able to have an indoor gym rather than using my garage would be pretty ideal. Across from the um, one guest bedroom is your laundry room. And then coming into the back part of the house, this is where all the living is going to take place. You have a full size kitchen with granite countertops as well as your undermount sink and dishwasher. And that's where the refrigerator will go. Over here you have the pantry, which is not cool feature number one. It is a cool feature, but um, I already pointed out in the Hayden and the Roby, the size of this pantry, it looks deceiving, but I'm telling you it's huge because I have the same pantry in my house and it's amazing how many like dried goods. I know I keep saying that just because it's just crazy how much it can fit. So cool feature number one is back here. This is a covered porch or covered patio. And out the back here, you have that tree line, which I just love. I don't know if it's gonna stay there, but as for right now, it's there. But you have this nice covered patio. So you could even screen this in like post-closing and have a little screened in area. And then it doesn't have much of a yard for this particular lot, but you do have some yard space and then it does go downhill, but that would be your backdrop would be this tree line. And then of course you have some telephone wires there, but it'd be nice to know. And I could find out for you again, you need to call me and find out if they are going to be building anything on the other side of that tree line. Um, Cause I don't know about you, that's nice to have that privacy. So let's head in and find cool feature number two. Coming back into the house, we have our kitchen over here, just to orient you. And I'm standing in the dining area right now. And then over here is where your living area is going to be. So I can imagine like the flat screen TV going on that wall there, having your nice sectional over here, coffee table, etc. Walking back here is the primary bedroom. So you do have that separation of the primary bedroom compared to your guest bedrooms. Walking in here, you still have a really good sized primary bedroom. It's large enough to fit a king size bed. And coming around here, I'm coming up on cool feature number two is in this ensuite bathroom. You have this massive walk-in closet. This is part of cool feature number two. This thing is huge. You have so much space for all of your clothes and any kind of like little extras or whatnot but also you have another closet. So you got the water closet there, but then you have another closet that you can have it be like part linens and part regular closet. Like I know my husband, for example, this would be the perfect closet for him because he can put his hanging clothes right there and his folded stuff, which is mostly everything he has is folded. <laughs> so this would be the perfect size for him. And for me, this would be the perfect size for me. And then we have that separation and it's just nice because then I don't have to worry about him messing up my stuff and he doesn't have to worry about me messing up my stuff. One of the other things I wanted to point out that is a cool feature for all of these houses are these blinds. And I know I pointed it out before in other videos, but I just wanted to mention it just because I think they're so cool. They fit perfectly inside the window and they're like a faux wood blind. And if you notice, they don't have any drawstring here. It's all lift up from the bottom. So that concludes my tour of four new construction homes in Lexington, North Carolina. And for more information about Lexington, North Carolina, you can click on this video here for a full vlog tour or this video here for the pros and, pros and cons of living in Lexington, North Carolina. And until the next video, I'll catch you later.